Welcome to the video from the digitallife.com. We have another Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 14316 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. And I've put this on my Surface Pro 3. I was using a tablet before, a small tablet, but I thought I'd go with it on this because there should be some new pen features coming soon. Currently they're not available, but they will be in later builds. So, what do I uh, want to look at on this one? Well, there's quite a lot of changes in this build, and um, so there's quite a lot of things to run through, unlike some previous videos where we've just looked at uh, some fixes. This is quite a bit. The first of all, we've got Bash uh, on Windows 10. So here you see the command prompt. I've got Bash command shell running here. I can do ls. And yeah, you can see it there. Um, this will mean a lot to people that use Bash and uh, Linux, but uh, there you can see it from the start menu. If you're used to using the Linux commands like ls and all the usual stuff that you do on there, that's all available. So um, that's probably a whole video in its own right. So I just wanted to briefly show that this is available and uh, running on there. So interesting to see that, uh, that that's running on there. See, there's nano. Anybody familiar with using uh, Linux will, will know these these commands. So, okay, what else is new here in Windows 10? Well, Cortana it gets uh, some improvements with uh, cross-device features. Um, so that means it can do push notifications from Android to your desktop, uh, which looks pretty interesting. And um, it supports Windows 10 Mobile and uh, Cortana 1.5 uh, on Android. So, what are the notifications it can, it can push? Well, one of them is low battery. I can't actually show you this. I was hoping to be able to show this, but my main Lumia has got plenty of battery. And this one, I'm trying to get it to run low while I'm recording the video. Um, so I'll leave it on so we might get to see that. But if the phone was running low, it would pop up here with a notification that um, the phone, the battery is running low, but we'll see some notifications on here. I'll show you some other ones mm -hmm. in a minute. So with Cortana, something else you can do is find my phone. Now that has flicked off when I've tried to do that, and that's probably because I'm in UK English and it's only available in US English. Um, I tried this before on my tablet and it worked okay. Um, it came up with a little box saying find my phone, so maybe I'll show that on the next video. It said you know, I found your phone and you get a box to say ring it or dismiss. Interesting that doesn't work here in this UK English one even though it sees the option. I'll try it one more time. So no good for UK users if you've got it set to a US region it does, uh, it does work. One thing that did work from here is um, setting routes so I can say I can say to Cortana directions to home and then what pops up on here it says I've got your route 53 minute trip and I can tap on that and it will take me to nothing <laughs> because it should take you to the map but it doesn't do anything at the moment but there you go you can see it so you just type Hey Cortana, directions to home. Right, what other changes have we got? There's a good one coming up, this PC Connect one, but let's just a quick look at uh, Edge. We have got a OneNote extension now available. So with this you can clip with this you can clip pages. So let me just go to a page. Right, so I've got over there, I can go clip, I can do the full page or an article and clip and it's going to put it in my personal, in OneNote. Which is really handy actually, if you, you know, you're, especially if you're only grabbing articles and things, you can just stick them straight into, into OneNote. And there's also the Bing Translate, Reddit and uh, Gestures, Mouse Gestures one, you've seen that was on the previous video. We have a new Skype app, the Universal Windows Platform Skype app. So this one we so this is a Skype app that looks very much like the traditional Skype app, but it is a proper Windows app, a universal Windows app. Uh, so it will work on the phone eventually. Currently it's just PC, but they're, uh, 
you know, they're just working on this app at the moment so we get a preview of that so you can do all the things you can call Skype message video so and it eventually I guess it will replace the separate messaging apps and th that we've already got where the Microsoft broke that into separate apps now it's all in one location well, the changes we've got changes to notifications so say here we've got say Cortana I can go on there I can say this is a top priority app and it'll get that a high priority or it can have a just high or it can have a normal so I can choose the priority of my app notifications and you can also say here I want this number of notifications visible action center so when I swipe across from action center and you get your mail so you've got three mail three Twitter I can change that to five say for Facebook and it will allow five or if I want to take a load of space I can have one and I've got it on normal priority uh, so which means it's not as sticky on here on the side so I think that's fair for that one Cortana it can show me five notifications and it's a top priority so a bit more flexibility and control over your settings on there now we are in settings we can now have a dark mode in Windows so I go to personalization go to colors see we've got a light and a dark mode to choose from so that's the dark mode. Some apps re uh, react to this correctly. Let's see if the um, browser isn't doing... The Windows Store does have... I seem to remember when I tested this before. Yeah, so there's Windows Store. It's going to be in dark mode. So some apps don't correspond to it or completely yet. But most of them seem to do. Let's try... Um, well, let's try the messaging app that we talked about before. You see you've got the dark bar. So yeah, the messaging app on there. Ooh, a lot of app updates there to do. So I need to get those done. So there you go, dark mode, which is nice to see. Now, something I thought was really good, and probably do a separate video for this at some point, is this new uh, Connect, which is like a mirror cast receiver. So, so this other new app is this Connect technology. So it's a mirror cast receiver effectively so with something like my 950 if you might cast enable TV I can send the display of this to the um, to my TV or in this case the Surface Pro 3 and then if I have one of the older Lumias like this one it would just do a mirror with one of the new ones like the 950 and 950 XL you can actually have your phone do one thing and then the continuum display doing something else so effectively it becomes a PC so this is now a mirror cast receiver so from my phone, I should be able to go to connect. Right, that connect feature is not working. <laughs> I've tried this about three times today and it worked every time. I tried the other video, it won't work, so I'll restart my phone. But well, I did want to show quickly. We've got some extra battery options here, a new battery section, and you can see battery app usage like you can on the phone. So you can set, uh, you say here, Cortana's using the most battery and you can then choose whether Windows allows it to manage it or whether it doesn't run in the background or whatever you want to do so that's uh, quite good I also found some other settings changed around Windows Update you can change the active hours when you want the device to restart or you can actually manually choose a restart time as well which is quite good so if you know you've got a, an, a, an app update coming or a, a build update coming you can sort of schedule that I also found a pen input option here, but the pen workspace and pen customization options don't currently do anything. So I'm going to try this phone connection again. Oh, there you go, it's working. <laughs> so here you can see my phone start menu. If I load the continuum app up here on my phone, see the mouse trackpad working. So I can go to the start menu and I can load, say, group music and that is running all on my phone but the display is up here on the PC. So it's working as, as, exactly as a Miracast device. Uh, if you've got a phone that doesn't support Miracast you'll see identical things on the phone on the PC but in this case you don't because the 950 950 XL support uh, continuum with two separate desktops so I could be using this as a phone and project this up onto a PC in a presentation or something like that or onto a TV or use it as a monitor so I can 
I can put the browser on here and I can open the browser on here as well and I can use uh, touch as well to control it all which is pretty cool so a nice um, a really nice way of, of being able to use continuum and uh, mirror cast so I'm, I'm going to try it with other devices but so far um, when it works like this it's working really well you, the ones that are greyed out are apps that don't support um, continue up on the big screen but these other apps do remote desktop works as an example so I could from here um, load up the remote desktop app remote desktop preview I can remote desktop into something so the idea of course being if this was just a, a monitor you, then you can have a dumb monitor and you can have all the stuff going on the phone and still use your phone at the same time in this case I'm using the mirror cast the PC is a mirror cast receiver I think it's a very a very good idea so what else can tell you about uh, this build? If we'll run out of time really to go through everything. There's some changes to the virtual desktop. You can pin uh, apps on virtual desktops, but you can look at release notes for that. There's an improved upgrade experience with a blue sort of little circle screen, uh, which looks more like the Windows Update screen, so users won't get sort of confused, thinking it's a big update. Uh, it's just a normal update. Um, there's lots of fixes to this one as well. You can see our previous releases to look at all the issues. And uh, there's a few known issues with Visual Studio, with the narrator. There's a problem with Microsoft Edge. We're downloading files. It might stick at 99%. You've got to rename the file, and then it'll, you'll be able to access it. But it stops the security uh, scan on it. Um, and some apps may only show an icon in Action Center. I'll, I'll include a link back to the to the release notes, which shows your uh, all the details on this. So that was our first look at Windows 10 build 14316 Redstone for Windows PC on the Insider Ring. Um, good to see some of these new features coming in. Um, Windows 10 is starting to see new features that will be coming and this of course will be part of the Windows 10 anniversary update. So thanks for watching this video, you can find more on our YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com.